500 years had passed and the fruits of Christianity in the Philippines is now being relished by the faithful all over the country. Together, let us take a trip down memory lane and look at the most eventful times in our diocese as we take part in this momentous event of our Christian faith. On the place that used to be Rice Paddies 70 years ago, now stands the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, the seat of the Diocese of Cubao. In 1935, a small chapel was built on rice fields and was administered by Father Henry Desmond, a priest from the Society of the Divine Word. The SVD priests attended to the pastoral and spiritual needs of a limited farming community. The chapel built was dedicated to San Isidro Labrador and belonged to Sacred Heart Parish in Camuning. On December 8, 1949, the patron San Isidro Labrador was changed to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. On July 15, 1950, the community chapel was canonically erected to become the Immaculate Conception Parish with Father Juan Simon as its first parish priest. After many years, the SVD community passed on their legacy and turned over the administration of the Immaculate Conception Parish to the Archdiocese of Manila on April 30, 1990. Monsignor Rinaldo Celso was installed as the first diocesan parish priest by His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin. With the continued growth of the Christian community that was becoming more and more diverse with the influx of Filipinos migrating from the provinces into the city, the Archdiocese of Manila recognized the ever greater challenge of keeping the faithful together. The Archdiocese needed to give birth to suffragan dioceses. On June 28, 2003, the Diocese of Cubao was established. However, a diocese doesn't stand on its own without having a cathedral. The word cathedral comes from the Latin word cathedra. It means a seat. It's more of the symbol because a seat is a piece of furniture, just like the chair of the board. We don't speak of a chair, but it's the position of someone in a corporation. So in the Catholic Church, we use the word cathedral to signify the place where the bishop, you know, resides. Well, when you say episcopacy, it means uh, literally it's a Greek overseer. So the bishops are asked to oversee a particular jurisdiction of the church, which we call diocese. So in a diocese, there is only one cathedral. And usually that's the place where the bishop resides. Maybe the strong devotion of a particular community. And so they name it just like uh, in the diocese, we have four parishes under the patronage of Mary, the Immaculate Conception. And Christ, who is higher, of course, Christ the King, we have only two, okay? Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we have two. So how come? I think it's more of the choice of the people, their devotion, their subculture. Filipinos' Marian devotion was undeniable and has never been stronger. This is the reason why the Filipino people have been called Pueblo Amanda de Maria, or people in love with Mary. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is known for promoting the devotion to Mary. This focus is evident not only in the pastoral activities that build up the devotion, but also through the art depicted on its walls. The beautiful stained glass windows of the cathedral exhibit the most important scenes of the life of Mary. The Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary 
the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and image of Our Lady of Pentecost. You know, when we were doing the renovations, we I followed the the style of the church, which is of the cathedral, which is parang neo-Romanesque, na may pagka neoclassic. So, ang, ang inspiration are also from sources na ganun. For instance, in the 19th century, there was um, there were churches in Europe that were built in that style, like the um, Sacre Coeur and um, Almudena in Madrid. And those are among the sources that I looked at and got inspired. I also looked at a lot of uh, classical paintings. Uh, I, I said we have to choose um, also scenes in the Virgin's life that have some kind of dramatic impact when we build the stained glass. So the, the three large windows, of course, for the facade, we have the Immaculate Conception. And then some, some lateral facade facing Lantana, uh, the Blessed Virgin as uh, the mother of the church, so Pentecost. That's why we, we chose Pentecost. And then uh, the opposite side, of course, kasi uh, I have a devotion for St. Joseph and, and so did Monsignor Dan. So we both agreed to dedicate that window to St. Joseph. Truly, the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is not just rich in history, but also a perfect presentation of art and devotion. The cathedral that has withstood the test of time for seven decades has also been a place that witnessed remarkable events in the diocese. Ordinations, weddings, establishment of the diocese's judicial tribunal, and a solemn rite for the opening of the cause for beatification and canonization of the servant of God, Darwin Ramos, on August 28, 2019. And although a lot of memories have been made in the years past, we still have many things to look forward to. A very important para sa cathedral na maipasa, no? Maipasa yung pananampalataya, no? Ma-share, no? Sa mas maraming tao. Uh, at, at sana yun ang magpatuloy, no? Uh, at, at this is a responsibility of everyone that uh, yung bawat isa may maiaambag, yung bawat isa may maibibigay, para siguraduhin na yung pananampalataya ay naibabahagi. No? And that is every responsibility of parents, for example, in their family, tapos yung catechists no? sa mga estudyante nila, o kaya sa mga fellow ministers. No? I think what is important is uh, we continue to grow in our motivation to share. No? Ang debosyon sa mahal na birhen, paalaala sa atin, ay ang paglalim ng ating kalooban na matulad sa kalooban ng Mahal na Birheng Maria. So, imitation. No? Ang tunay na diboto ng Mahal na Ina ay ang pagtulad sa Kanya. Tularan ang halimbawa ng Mahal na Birhen. At yan, walang kapalit yan sapagkat yan ay kalugud-lugud. Hindi lang sa Mahal na Ina, kundi sa ating Panginoon. Hindi pwede tayo magpatalo sa takot. Eh, no? Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan para ibahagi ang uh, pananampalataya na tinanggap natin mula sa Panginoon, mula sa mga misyonero. Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan kung paano maging misyonero, kung paano maging magmisyon. No? We always have to look for ways. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Online. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Social media. No? Anong meron tayo ngayon? Chat. No? Napakaraming pwede nating i-message mga kaibigan, mga kakilala na dumadaan sa mga pagsubok o kaya naman may sakit o nasa quarantine. No, we have to, kailangan natin silang kamustahin araw-araw. We continue to find ways how to spread the good news.
Oo, maraming pagsubok, maraming nawawala ng pag-asa, pero nasa puso ng pananampalataya natin, meron pa ring mabuting balita. At kailangan hindi tayo nawawalan ng lakas at ng gana para maghanap ng mga pagkakataon para ipahayag ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao joins the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlugod Lalaganap alab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon Kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami, Panginoon Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo Katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan sa senyal na ito maniniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Mang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Di mang daang taong Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto Handa kami, Panginoon!
Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019 upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at wag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawain bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, Tumuloy ka sa Espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my beloved social communicators, happy 56th World Day of Communications to you all. This year, the theme of Pope Francis' message revolves around listening with the ear of the heart. This is in line with our vision of becoming a synodal church. 
as we continue to journey together, it is but imperative that we learn to listen to one another. According to St. Paul, faith comes through listening. To become a good social communicator, we have to listen to the Word of God, listen to our pastors, and listen to the people around us. Pope Francis revealed that the boundless desire of every human being is to be heard. It's important to know that we do not just listen using our sense of hearing, but we listen through the ear of the heart. We may all have ears, but there are times that even our perfect hearing is unable to hear the heart of a person. The deafness of a heart is the worst kind of deafness that we can have because as the Pope said the true seat of listening is the heart we must receive words not just outwardly through the ears but spiritually in our hearts as we celebrate World Communications Sunday we are reminded that listening is an indispensable ingredient of good communication for us to effectively fulfill our mission as social communicators i challenge you all to enrich your ability to listen to our society let us use our platforms so that fruitful stories will be heard and as we journey towards synodality May we also become a listening church that accompanies and walks with her people. Makinig, maglakbay, at sama-sama tayo sa pagtahak sa daan ng kabanalan. This is Bishop Ness Ong Tioko of the Diocese of Cubao. Happy 56th World Communications Day to all. The Lord, the presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Father Ryman. Please stand.
gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the holy spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of god while meeting with them he enjoyed them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in the few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons, but the Father has established by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All your peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts His throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For the King of all the earth is God.
sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call? What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And we put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as a head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. says the Lord, I am with you always until the end of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Today, we celebrate the ascension of our Lord to heaven. And there are two things why we celebrate the Lord's ascension. The first reason, because Jesus would like us to see Him in a new way. Kung titingnan po natin, kapag ang Panginoon ay nanatili sa mundo, if the Lord did not ascend to heaven, it is only along the area of Jerusalem and the neighboring villages or country who is going to see Jesus. Ibig sabihin, napaka-limited po ng magiging makakakita kay Kristo kapag hindi siya aakyat sa langit. Yung paglisa ng Panginoon, yung magiging absence niya in the fellowship of the disciples in the circle of His friends would become presence for everyone in this world. And this is the new kind of seeing Jesus physically absent but present in our needs. Kaya nung ang Panginoon ay umakyat sa langit, binigyan niya tayo ng ibang pagkakataon para siya ay makita at makasama. At ano ang mga iyon? Through the sacraments. Kaya nga pagkatapos ng ascension, ibibigay niya ang Espiritu Santo and then the church would be established. And upon the church, sacraments will flow. Kaya nga, magkakaroon tayo ng presensya ng Panginoon sa simbahan at sa mga sakramento. Magiging pangkalahatan, magiging para sa lahat ang Panginoon. At hindi lamang po doon lang located along the area of Jerusalem. Makikita natin yung pag-ibig ng Diyos is not exclusive. It is always inclusive. Lahat po mahal ng Panginoon. And because of that love, the Lord needs to ascend into heaven. Not only for His own good, but more so for us. Dahil kapag hindi siya aakyat sa langit, hindi ipapadala ang Espiritu Santo. At kapag hindi ipapadala ang Espiritu Santo, hindi kakalat ang paniniwala kay Kristo. Hindi natin makikilala si Jesus because we will not be able to see Him. And so, ascension is a new way of seeing Jesus present. Not, maybe not physically, but in the church and in the sacraments. Pangalawa, bakit natin ipinagdiriwang ang ascension? Una, yung presensya ng Diyos. Pangalawa, because of heaven. Gustong ibigay ng Diyos sa atin ang langit. Ipinakita niya na ang lahat ng ito sa mundo is beyond compare kapag tayo ay nasa kalangitan. Na ang pagdurusa, ang mga pait na ating nararasan sa mundo ay walang kapantay kapag tayo niya ay nasa langit. Kaya nga po kapag asensyo ng pinag-uusapan, parang pinag-usapan na po din natin yung langit. Kapag si Kristo ay umakyat, tayo din po ay susunod sa Kanya. Paano po tayo makakasunod sa Kanya? Do the mission that the Lord gave to His disciples. Ano yung mission na binigay niya? To preach repentance for our sins and also to do good works. Paano papasok sa langit? Kailangan po nating magsisi. Kailangan po nating hikayate ng ating mga kapatid na magsisi. At kailangan po nating gumawa ng kabutihan sa mundo. 
According in one of the homilies of Pope Benedict, ang sabi niya, the late Pope Benedict, no, the Emeritus, ang sabi po niya, heaven is really not a place but a state of being. Being with Jesus. Yan po ang totoong langit. At kung pwede pong lagyan ng hierarchy, ang being, the being with our Lord is the highest of hierarchy. Kaya nga po, kahit tayo ay sa mundo pa, pwede tayong mamuhay na parang tayo ay sa langit. By being with God. By doing good works. By preaching repentance. By preaching God's mercy. And so this celebration of the ascension is not only a thanksgiving, but also a mission to all of us to bring Jesus to our brothers and sisters. To bring them to heaven. To be with Him forever in His kingdom. We stand to profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Entering heaven, Christ appears before God on our behalf. We pray to you, O Father, to pour forth your grace on us. With sincere hearts and absolute trust, we pray, bless and keep us, Lord. Bless and keep us, Lord. God, our Father, fill our church leaders with the gifts of your Spirit that they may carry on your mission of mercy to all people. We pray. Bless and keep us, Lord. God, our Father, empower leaders of our nation with the promised paraclete that they may serve the world with prudence and competence. We pray. Bless and keep us, Lord. God, our Father, inspire communicators, parents, and educators that they may use wisdom and discernment in the use of the media since their decisions greatly affect young people. We pray. Bless and keep us, Lord. God, our Father, may those who are engaged in the media recognize that they are truly stewards and administrators of an immense spiritual power that belongs to the patrimony of humanity and is meant to enrich human community. We pray. Bless and keep us, Lord. God, our Father, may our departed loved ones come and dwell in your presence forever. We pray. Bless and keep us, Lord. Let us also pray for our personal intentions. We pray for the stop of the spread of coronavirus, for our leaders in government and in the church, for all frontliners, to those who are sick, especially of COVID-19, and to those who have died. Loving Father, as we rejoice in the ascension of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
fill us with hope in this life. May we be your faithful witness now until the time we join you in heaven forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer the sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to the honor, the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, and he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit O glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command, conformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, From every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please stand. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata for Protection Against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. On June 4, first Saturday of the month, the Confraternity of Our Lady of Lourdes is inviting everyone to attend the dawn procession at 5.30 a.m., which will start in front of the cathedral and followed by the 6 a.m. Mass. We are inviting parishioners in the Mahal na Ina Formation Program on June 4 from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at the Parish Center. The topic will be Four Marian Dogmas and the Devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary. The speaker is Reverend Marty Espinido, Resident Deacon of the Cubao Cathedral. Starting June 6, Monday, the new schedule of weekday Masses are 6 a.m., 6.45 a.m., 7.30 a.m., and 6 p.m. Online Mass is at 7.30 a.m. The 6 p.m. will no longer be online. For other details, Kindly check the FP page of the cathedral. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you for on this very day, His only begotten Son pierce the heights of heaven and unlock for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen.
may He grant that as Christ, after His resurrection, was seen plainly by His disciples, so when He comes as Judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you, who believe He is seated with the Father in His majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of His promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the celebration is ended. Thanks be to God. Let's go.